Yo, what is going on you guys? Bastion YJ here and today, today guys, it's been a while since we visited this deck. I want to go ahead and bring you this spicy, spicy deck profile for you guys. Grab your milk, grab your bread because it's about to get real, real hot in here real, real quick. So today guys, we're going to be tackling one of the best decks in my opinion that you could possibly use to go ahead and counter the meta right now and that's going to be one of the better deck out decks of the format which is of course runic trickstar so runic trickstar is a deck that i put on the channel of, uh, about a month or two ago and uh, honestly i really really like the way the deck worked the way it flowed it did rely on mystic mind quite a bit just to go second but i think i found a way to go ahead and be able to not only counter the meta but to be able to go ahead and make sure that we're making this deck as competitive as possible. Now, whether you're going to be winning any YCS or regions with it, let's hold off on that young buck. Let's go ahead and make sure that we're doing some testing first. But after testing with this deck, I think it's a lot of fun. I think, uh, well, trying to find someone who would be willing to duel me <laughs> was enough of a challenge, and let alone actually winning the duel. Um, honestly, this is probably going to be the best version of this deck moving forward. So if you guys do enjoy these uh, more wacky uh, deck profiles, let me know in the comment section down below. But you can also let me know by smashing that like button, subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell for a lot more uploads coming here in the near future. Uh, I am currently on the process of moving, uh, so that is taking a little bit of time away from making videos. So uh, if my video is, uh, uh, uploads are a little bit spotty throughout the next week or two, that's gonna be definitely why so uh it is what it is guys i'm trying to get this done as soon as possible for you i'm trying to get ahead and get set up i already have internet at the new place set up. i just need to make sure i take all this and take it to the new place so anyway enough about me guys go ahead and get right into this deck profile because i know that's exactly what we all came here to see so here we are the best trickstar ishizu runic deck out deck I could think of at the moment. So, uh, with Mystic Mind getting out of the format, uh, being completely banned officially as of today, I believe, if, if it's going up where, when I believe it's going up, uh, uh, as of December 1st, we got a brand new ban list which bans Mystic Mind, gets us mid of respect to three. So, I was originally thinking, okay, we can maybe substitute Mystic Mind with Necro Valley and the Necro Valley can be the next target for the Metaverse which is now at 3 and we can go ahead and play it that way as well but the issue with that guys is that we'd be playing like 10 different fuel spells which would be way way too much way way too cloggy so I thought okay if we're not gonna go that route this has to be another way and that route was the Ishizu cards why not use your opponent's cards to to your advantage and to their dismay. So I was gonna go ahead and get into it real quick, guys, and I go ahead and explain my card process along the way. So first off, we played three Candina and three Lycris. Lycris, the only reason we're playing three Lycris is so that we can bounce the Candina back to our hand to give us follow-up to be able to search reincarnation again. And Candina only searches reincarnation. That's the only thing that it is good for. You normal summon, you search reincarnation, you set reincarnation, and you pass or whatever else you're gonna do in your turn, but you make sure that reincarnation is nice and flat and face down on your turn, so that way when your opponent's turn is second, they draw a card for turn, you flip that face up, and then they get rid of all six cards in their hand, especially if you're going first. But we do need to make sure that we are prepared for going second guess, and with the Shizu Tournament being the best deck of the format, this is not even a competition, not even a question at this point, we had decided, why not use their their best cards against them as well give them a taste of their own medicine guys that's exactly what we're doing here today so we are playing three kelbeck and three agito <laughs> with one keldo and one mudora so you're gonna look at this and you're saying sebastian listen uh look whether you're subscribed to me or not you're probably thinking look this guy's crazy like he doesn't know what he's thinking agito sucks whatever it might be listen Kelbeck and Agito share the same effect. Okay, it says if this card is sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard, activate this effect. Each player sends the top five cards of their deck to the GY. Right? So Kelbeck says the same thing. So this is what we're trying to maximize that way. I'm not I'm not thinking about the Agito special summons from the graveyard, so you can go ahead and make a best dwell, other that is something you can do. And, you know, all these types of fancy things. All I'm thinking is I gotta play cards that allow me to deck out my opponent as soon as possible. So if we're going second and my opponent's playing Tier Shizu or any type of deck like that, which realistically, if you're going up against locals, anything right now, that's most likely where you're gonna go up against is gonna be Tier Shizu. Uh, so <laughs> if you're gonna be using these cards, 
when while they're milling you can go ahead and activate your cards to go ahead and continue milling off both decks and the good thing about this is that if you're putting a whole bunch of runics in your graveyard you can just activate the field spell for free and gain plus three uh draws each and every single turn which gives you so much advantage guys and if they change your their keldo you change your keldo and you know it is what it is and you go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth now um, there's no way to exactly interrupt the keldo per se but it is something you can definitely do as far as, you know, still interrupting their graveyard, adding more cards onto the graveyard, and then continuing to interrupting it with the Keldo and the Medora as well. So that's going to be it for the monsters, guys. 14 cards uh, for their monster lineup. I know it's definitely not what you expected, most likely, when you uh, clicked on this video for Zish Ishizu uh, Trickstar. Uh, but honestly, if we're trying to deck out our opponent, this is going to be the best way. Now... As far as the runic cards, I think it's a pretty standard lineup. Three of the freezing curse, three runic tip, three of the destruction, uh, three flashing fire, uh, three slumber, one golden droplet, one dispel, one uh, uh, smiting storm, and that's going to be it for our runic quick play spells guys we are maximizing out on each and every single quick play runic card i don't believe we're missing any of them so far but each and every single one of these are going to be fantastic in our in essential strategy to deck out our opponent and the consistency that we're gaining from not only having the runic field spell being able to shuffle back having the ishizu cards milling more so that we have more to shuffle back and then reincarnation special summoning back the candina and that's bouncing it back special summon the lycris normal summon candina again such another reincarnation all of these things work so well together guys the consistency of this deck is a lot better it's, it's not elite it's not elite let's calm down but is a lot better than i originally expected and anything i could have uh, expected from this deck guys play two copies of the runic spring the one of the best field spells in the in the game i want to say uh and then three copies of trickstar life stage which is the best field spell in the game not only is it an immediate searcher on activation this card also allows you to basically snipe your opponent's back row uh, making them either have to activate it right then and there activate during the end phase or they have to go ahead and get rid of it so it's really really good to go ahead and make sure that you have this card available uh next up for the traps we have three copies of reincarnation and that is absolutely it i considered playing uh metaverse with uh, trap trick things like that so you can go ahead and be able to search your reincarnation but realistically i mean the deck is so consistent as it is in so many test hands and scenarios that i was doing that there was never really a time where i was either missing reincarnation or did just didn't have it in my hand that it was always a way to go ahead and be able to get it to my hand and that, that comes a lot with the consistency of being able to play three life stage and three candy and just having that consistency to always see one of your two main combo starters for the trick Star lineup so that's gonna be it for the main deck guys 40 card main deck now for the extra deck it's really not that crazy guys to play one ip the three nightmare package the avermax just in case uh one abyss dweller <clears throat> you do play a good amount of level fours in your deck Three Hugin, uh, two of the Munin, two of the Gary, and uh, two of the Freki as well. That's gonna be 15 cards for the extra deck, guys. So as far as that goes, I consider potentially playing cards like cards like Pop Prosperity, but the issue with that is that it clashes with Runic Fountain quite a bit. So it, that's the only reason I didn't want to play it. But that would add so much more consistency if you were able to find a way to get him played because that means you could definitely search out whichever one of the quick play spells you wanted. You could definitely search out your light stage or search out your candina that much more easily. Uh, which is something that I do want to go ahead and do is I want to be able to create a pure link based trickstar deck. Uh, that's been my dream for a while now. I have all the cards in front of me. It's something that I'm testing with right now. But honestly, uh, that might be one of the profiles I'm going to be uploading next week. Because that's that takes uh, way too much testing for you guys. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below of this wacky, wacky deck, guys. <laughs> honestly, I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't see this winning any type of regional YCS anytime soon. But if you guys were looking to pick up a fun, uh, semi-competitive, uh, Trickstar Runic Ishizu deck just to completely mess with your opponents, uh, mess with your opponents, uh, heads, whether it's at local level, whatever level you guys are doing at, guys, this is definitely gonna be a very, very fun one for you. So, if you guys do enjoy these types of videos, let me know in the comment section down below, and also let me know by smashing that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.